Well, as you guys know, I did not make Tinley. Totally sucked. Sorry about that for all the people out there that wanted to meet me as I wanted to meet you guys. But a lot of things got in the way as far as work, you know, just business. But it turned out to be a really good uh, good thing I didn't go in my part as far as, you know, just work itself. But um, I still managed to get a couple of snakes even though I wasn't there. And I also managed to be a part of the the auction for the US Arc, which was was pretty funny. Um, Sean Bradley had called me and I was literally bidding on the phone. So I'll definitely show you guys what I got. Um, definitely gonna have some pretty, pretty big unboxings this week. Again, I didn't go to Tinley, but I definitely got some stuff at Tinley. So really, really excited and make sure you guys stay tuned this week. But I'm actually leaving to Chicago tomorrow morning which this is Sunday, this is playing, so when you guys watch this, I'm actually leaving this morning. Well, you guys know what I mean. I'm leaving uh, to Chicago to do some pretty freaking cool collaborations with a few people. Can't say the names yet, but I'm telling you right now, it's super cool and they're big YouTubers, so stay tuned for that. I'll definitely put those up this week. Um, other than that, again, guys, I'm sorry about that, but man, we're gonna have so much cool things on this channel. A lot of unboxings this week um, and next week. And pretty much, let's just check out some snakes. I'm gonna, before we go check out some snakes, I totally forgot. We named the Mexican Beaded Lizard. You guys ready for this? We named him Venom. It was between Venom and Black Ace, Black Ace, but Venom just, my kids loved it. Ace was like, oh my God, that's perfect. And you know, he's a big Spider-Man fan. So that's his name. The Mexican Beaded Lizard is Venom. So I really need to go back and check out all the comments and stuff and see who's the one that commented first and named him Venom. Okay, let's go play with snakes. How about we check out some albinos now? We'll start off with this calico albino. Let's see if you can see the calico in here. Next, it's a cinnamon albino. For this one, man, the yellow just pops out on this one. And these right here by far are my favorite albinos. And it's the black pastel albino. Get the... I got a lot of message of you guys asking me to show you guys my red stripes since Justin completely killed it with that magma project. Man, so freaking sweet. So, let's start off with... Uh, with this girl right here. And right here we have a fire red stripe. Look at the size of this girl. You know, it's funny, I bought this red stripe off of Justin last year, a long time ago, before I found out he was doing this freaking awesome project, which turns out to be a good buy. So Justin, thank you. Again, it's a fire red stripe female. Next, we have a super pastel red stripe yellow belly. Hope you guys are picking the colors. Beautiful girl, man. I wonder what I'm gonna do with these girls. I'll tell you guys this right now. This, uh, the yellow belly, uh, super pastel red stripe, I am not throwing no clown at her, just so you guys know. Next, we have her sister, which is from the same clutch. Right here, we have a super pastel, super red stripe. Look at that. How 
How about some retick love right here? First retick that I've purchased. Here is the second retick I got. Get the eyes on this thing. So this one right here is a male lavender sunfire. Such cool snakes, man. So cool, the flick of their tongue is so much slower. All right, back to the ball pythons. So right here we have a leopard head clown. We just started introducing her to the male. So we didn't get no visual lock or anything, but she's around 1,700 grams. So hopefully it works something out because she is very, very, very important to making some Batmans for me. As you guys know, I really want to make some really bad. Um, this is the only spider I have in my collection. Actually, no, I lied. I also have a spide, but it's not mine no more. It's someone else's. <laughs> so here's the tricky part. It's either a yellow belly or a gravel. We don't know yet, but our male clown is a yellow belly. So... If we could get some highway clowns, whew, that'd be freaking sick. But look at the colors on here. Again, a spider, yellow belly or gravel, heck clown. Before I finish off, I'm definitely gonna bring out some GHIs. So right here we have a Pastave GHI yellow belly. Definitely, you guys remember this is one of my meanest snakes that I have. But she is a damn good eater, man, that's for sure. Again, that was a Pastave Yellow Belly GHI. Following her, we have a GHI yellow belly het ghost. You definitely see the yellow belly coming out of this girl. A lot of you guys like these twin sisters, the GHI Mojave het pides. Forgot to tell you guys, this one right here was just laid from our spied to yellow belly pied. And this one's almost due. You can see the eggs already caving in. Slowly but surely, we're getting these things filled up. We're still expecting two more clutches this next week and more and more until we get this thing all the way filled up. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Again, it was a little short vlog, showed you guys some snakes. Um, sorry for everyone that I couldn't make Tinley. Trust me, I, I feel bad, man. I really, really, really wish I could have gone, but I am gonna be on my way to Chicago for some, like I told you guys, some awesome collaborations with some really, really cool people. And uh, thank you again for the people that helped me uh, choose a name for our beaded lizard, our Mexican beaded lizard, Venom. Thank you very much, Ace loves it. I was choosing another name, but after all, you know, it's what your kids want, it's what you pretty much have to do. But um, other than that, thank you guys again, man. Appreciate all the love and support. Until next time, bye.